Hello everyone, today we replace the storage of an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Charge this phone once. It's a brand new iPhone. Storage is 128 gigabytes. Next, let's test the air tightness of the phone. We have to test it before repairing it. Vacuum pressure reaches minus 20. Need to hold for 20 seconds. Okay, the phone does not leak air. Next, we start to remove the bottom screws. Then put it inside the heated display removal fixture. Heating around the casing. After the temperature is reached, heating will continue for 2 minutes. Heating completed, put down the suction cup, adjust to appropriate distance, slowly lift the screen. The upper knob has torque. This way it won't easily damage the screen. The screen is already opening, we're going to take off the phone. Wear an electrostatic bracelet. Start opening the screen now. It's very clean inside. Next we are going to remove the screen. Protect the face ID components first. Unscrew the screen protective cover. Remove the protective cover. Pry open the battery cable, screen cable. We take off the screen. Very clean. Next we are going to remove the motherboard. First remove the two screws of the earpiece. Remove the handset. Then remove the face component. Then unscrew the three fixing screws of the motherboard. Disconnect all the cables on the motherboard. We are ready to remove the motherboard. Next we peel off the protective sticker of the NAND flash. Then use stickers to protect it again. Also remove the sticker on the back. Place it into the grinder for positioning. Positioning completed. Start polishing. Whether it's polishing or hot removal method, it will not damage the motherboard. Polished. This is the result after we polished it. Peel off the protective sticker. Put it into the mold. Prepare to clean the motherboard. Drop in a little flux and low temperature tin. Then put the motherboard onto the high temperature tin mix. Let's wipe it with solder wick again. Use an air gun and a razor blade to remove the remaining glue around. This is motherboard after we cleaned it up. This is the solder joint on the motherboard. Next we will deal with the solder joints on the NAND flash. Next we start tin planting. We use medium temperature tin at 183 degrees. Blow it into a ball. Heat again. Finish. Next we drop a little flux. Apply evenly and evenly. OK has been installed. Next, we fill the bottom of the NAND flash with glue. Let the glue flow completely to the bottom. Next, we will put in the sealant. This glue will have a matte color after curing. The glue we just printed was glossy black. This is what it looked like after we glued it. We will need to cure the motherboard later. Next we put in the equipment. Preheat. Start heating after preheating is completed.
After heating is completed, welding begins. The welding time is about 10 minutes. After welding, start keeping warm. After keeping warm, start cooling. The whole process takes about 40 minutes. Curing completed. Peel off the sticker on the NAND flash. This is the motherboard after we have cured it. The shiny thing on the left is the glue on the bottom. The one on the right is matte color. So we are making two kinds of glue. This can improve the decay resistance of NAND flash. Also heat dissipation performance and moisture proof performance. Let's clean the motherboard. Paste foam. Also put a new sticker on the back. The motherboard is now processed. Next let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue on the case. Because this phone is new. So it's relatively easy to clean up the glue. Next, let's wipe off the remaining waterproof glue. This is what it looks like after we've cleaned it up. Next, we are going to put back the motherboard. Buckle up all the cables. Then tighten the three fixing screws. First put the screws into the fixed position, then tighten the screws with a torque screwdriver. The NAND flash protective sticker is also put back on. Replacing the face component. And the receiver. Next we put on a brand new piece of waterproof glue. Then we use waterproof glue to press the plate. Carry out the first pressure holding process of waterproof glue. Hold pressure for 30 seconds. Pressure holding completed. We peel off the second layer of protective film of waterproof glue. Start preparing for installation screen. Fasten the screen cable. Clean up. Then replace the protective cover. First tighten the screws to the fixed position. Then tighten the screws with a torque screwdriver. We peel off the last protective film of waterproof glue. Clean it up again. Ready to start snapping the screen. Let's check again. Make sure there is no problem. Let's start with the screen. Then put in the waterproof glue pressure maintaining tool again. Hold pressure for 30 seconds. 75 kilograms average pressure for 30 seconds. Pressure holding completed. Let's start tightening the bottom screws. Let's test the air tightness of this phone again. Look at what we're doing after repairs. Whether to restore the original waterproof and dustproof performance before disassembly, after the vacuum pressure is reached, need to hold for 20 seconds. Air tightness restoration. Next we still need to flash the machine. Models above 12 series can be flashed directly. Flashing completed. Let's reactivate the phone. Then look at the information on this phone. Storage is one terabyte. Let's take a look at the app again.
Charge once. The phone shows one terabyte. Previously it was 128 grams expensive.